So tell us a little bit um, about the situation in 2021. Um, how did you find um, TEFL after the COVID and you know, what steps did you need to take? Yeah, so early 2021, we really started doing an audit throughout the business. And we had a couple of big goals um, with the website, our admin system, but also in our e-learning. We had identified because of the pandemic, the actual quality throughout other industries in e-learning had exploded. Uh, we found courses were way more engaging. There was way more um, tools you could use when it comes to assignments. Uh, uh, things like even just storage, storage space and rendering of things just improved massively. And we kind of realized almost overnight that our course wasn't uh, engaging enough in the wider market. Within TEFL, we were still the leading course provider, but we really wanted to bridge that gap and really impress people uh, when they took a TEFL with us. And, and we really wanted them to retain the best kind of knowledge for their careers moving forwards. Wonderful, and sort of realizing that you guys um, have lots of opportunities to improve your courses, how did you actually approach your digital transformation? Because I imagine, you know, if you don't have skill sets within the business that may be a difficult um, you know, undertaking. Yeah, well, th that's exactly it. I think any kind of small to medium business, you're always, you're spinning several plates across different departments and you're always trying to be a specialist in every area. So my advice to any kind of small to medium business is sometimes you can't do it all. So the very first thing we did is just heavily start to research e-learning, the e-learning industry, really trying to look for experts or external advisors who could help us transform what our courses were. And uh, that's the first time we came across Wikipedia. Excellent. And what challenges um, have you experienced to date with the change management process? Because obviously, as you're going through a digital transformation, um, there's a huge change management piece um, that happens within the business. So tell us a little bit about that experience and how you've tackled it to date. Yeah, so um, the change of management throughout the business, we found communication was key from the off. You know, we've worked hard with Wikipedia in just trying to be as transparent and try and provide them as much knowledge as we had within our different department, uh, departments. We've worked hard at trying to identify skill sets. We have um, on our books 120 TEFL tutors around the world. So there was always going to be an opportunity that some of those tutors could become subject matter experts and develop our courses. So applying a PDA skill set course creation and really doing the market research on the, uh, identifying what our target audience is, which has changed throughout um, the last couple of years um, and putting it all together. So we have no challenges anymore. We have a kind of team within in-house that can support our external client. Yeah. So a bit ultimately becomes an extension of a business where we obviously go through their discovery process and uh, gain as much insight about the business as possible that we can become that extension um, and ultimately play that critical part um, in that transformation. So in terms of um, learning experience at TEFL, what steps are you guys taking to improve your courses um, and to create the best learning experience? Yeah, so uh, again, starting with the research side of things, um, and I mentioned previously that our target audience had kind of developed and matured over the last couple of years. So first of all, identifying what our actual core audience is and developing a course to help their skill sets. So with um, Apedia's help, we're starting to develop courses that are way more accessible, whether it's multiple devices, way more engaging, uh, the course content itself, now it has more rich media sources, things like videos, animations, gamification, more reward systems. And our secret is we just wanna kind of make the course as individualistic as possible. That's our real trick here is if you have certain strengths when you're going through our course, 
we don't want to focus necessarily on your strengths. We want you coming out of the course so everyone doesn't have the same 168 hours uh, for our level five. We want you to have the 168 hours that really strengthens and improves you as a teacher. You might be really strong in some areas, but weaker in others. So we want to develop the courses so it focuses on your weaknesses. So when you're leaving the course, you have a much more rounded teaching experience. Absolutely. So it's really providing unique learning experience for every single learner that you have. And obviously with those two different courses, you guys have completely different target audiences and therefore there needs to be a different design approach. What would be one biggest advice that you'll give to businesses that are considering digital transformation or just about to begin? I think, yeah, with, with businesses our size, you can't, first of all, you need to know your own resources and what you're capable of. So research, research is key. Try and identify four leaders in the space, which Apedia definitely is. Uh, they're one of the best companies we came across in our research for e-learning and trusting them, you know, really trying to integrate them into your businesses as much as possible. Allow them to advise you in certain areas, provide the equipment that they need, the tools they need to be successful and you'll reap the benefits further down the line. Wonderful. Thank you so much for, for your time, Tom, and sharing your story of digital transformation. Um, and we are very pleased to continue to help you transform your courses and you know create the best experience for your learners. Oh, thank you so much for having me, Talia. Thank you.